Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part one of my Skaven Let's Play for Total War Warhammer 2. A massive thank you to Crave Assembly for giving me early access, allowing me to start my Let's Plays early, and a massive thank you to all of you guys for voting in the Faction and Legendary Lord votes. Obviously, as you can see, we're playing as Lord Skrulk of Clan Pestilence, and we'll go through the Faction effects, race attributes, and additional starting units very soon. We're playing on very hard difficulty, as I'm doing with all my Let's Plays. If you haven't already checked out my Krokgar Lizardmen Let's Play, or my Tyrian High Elf Let's Play, Let's play then feel free to do so there on my channel page also a massive thank you to all of you that have been leaving custom mutant name suggestions on the QT. that is the only place that i am taking custom mutant name suggestions for this series i'm doing with all my series at the moment i'm using QTs. it's much easier to filter the comments by the unit types um, that you can do when you leave a unit name suggestion on the QT. you can tag your comment to say melee infantry if you're naming clan rats or um Ska uh, Skaven Slaves or Storm Vermin or what have you. There's Missile Infantry to tag for all the Missile Infantry, War Machines for Artillery, Monsters and Beasts and things like that for all the other creatures that the Skaven have at their command. So yes, do use that QT link, it's in the description and the comment section. You need to connect up your Google account or sign in with a new email or however you want to do it, but it makes the whole process of adding unit name suggestions into my campaigns a lot easier. It's worked really well for my Wintertooth and Bloody Hands series so far, and great to see, I think, over 400 comments on there already uh, for custom name suggestions, so I'll try and get them in for part two. Also, I should mention, um, we'll have an hour special at part 10, 20, 30, 40, every 10 episodes. This first episode will be an hour long once we get into the gameplay. However, if you're new to my channel, you won't know this, but if you've been following my channel for a while, I offer you guys the opportunity for an early hour special at part 5 of a new series if we can hit 2,000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3, and 4. It is completely optional though, however, if you don't want to leave a like, that is totally fine. If you're not enjoying the content, feel free to leave a dislike. But if you would like um, an extra half an hour to the part 5 episode, making it an hour long uh, episode, then feel free to leave a like. Parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, 2,000 likes, and we'll have an early hour special at part 5. If not, as I said, there'll be an hour special at part 10 anyway. So let's go through these race attributes. The Skaven Underworld settlements appear in ruins, or appear to be uh, in ruins rather. Um, and must be scouted to reveal any Skaven presence. There's a food mechanic as well. You have to maintain food supplies to gain growth and other bonuses and to avoid starvation penalties. Finally, the Skaven Corruption, um, which is a detriment to local public order but allows you to spawn additional units of clan rats to fight in local battles. Um, the faction effects for Clan Pestilence, which we're playing as. Construction cost reduction of minus 50% for Pox Cauldron, Pestilent Knave and Plague Bailey Buildings, and a Reduction to the right cost, minus 75% for the Pestilent Scheme. Lord effects for Lord Skrulk are minus 50% upkeep for Plague Monks, Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, Plague Claw, Catapult, and Plague Priest units within Skrulk's army. And finally, Skrulk also has an additional plus 3 Skaven Corruption to the local province that he's in. His additional starting units are the Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, Plague Claw Catapult, and Plague Monks. Again, we're playing at very hard difficulty. There'll be a full schedule for all my series going out tomorrow, so do stay tuned for that if you want to know what days I'll be uploading various series. I'll probably mention later on in this video. But that, without further ado, let's begin the campaign. Deep under the world, they chitter and plan. Watching, waiting. When they emerge, it is a nightmare vision. The Skaven, a ravenous horde of verminous ratmen. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins, for such is the will of their god, the great horned rat. Only the island home of the High Elves has remained unscathed. And at its center is the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world. The Skaven covered its vast power with envious, beady red eyes. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. 
in the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of Thirteen has gathered. A time to scheme of opportunity. <laughs> I kill dwarf things in Pillar City. No, no! Clan Wars go to Southlands! Hunt for Warpstone! Moors are puppet minion! Pestilence infest Lustria! Yes, yes! But all Warpstone for Council Plan! Come, scribe slave! Work to do! Comet makes elf things weak! Council wants power! The vortex. <laughs> Just as prophecy demands. <laughs> so it true. You read markings on the black pillar. <laughs> then you know we must seek find the screaming one. Find out how to control the vortex. Oh, oh yes, master. But, but a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if, if we summon him. <laughs> Return to your assigned clan. Harvest Warpstone. Yes, most precipitous of masters. And flay yourself, your impertinence. Oh, it will be done, your worship. Okay, so. Plan is set. The pieces are moving. Let's see what Lord Skrulk has in mind. Illustria. Cease your chittering, adherents of decay, for Skrulk speaks. By will, will of council, we set poor in Lustria to visit ruin upon the reptile things. Yes, yes. Twin-tailed comet brings great opportunity for, for pestilence. <laughs> great vortex of Althuan vulnerable. Much power to be had. Mm. A warpstone holds key. Much warpstone found in reptile thin cities. Kill Sotex creatures and find steel of their treasures. Skrulk will bind Vortex to his will and spread sickness across the world. All will succumb to the plague monks. Well, that just sounds great, Skrulk. Thank you. Alley play, Clan Pestilence. Game settlements are not ordinarily visible to other races, appearing instead as uninhabited ruins. Heroes may scout ruins, see if they are truly abandoned. To have the food mechanic, as you said, requires stockpile of food, each army consuming an amount of food per turn. Food may be gained from battles, from sacking settlements, and from certain buildings. Skaven spread corruption where they settle, lowering public order over time, but giving additional uses of the menace below, which uh, is an army ability in battles, um, which you get when fought within local provinces and allows you to summon, uh, I think it's clan rats, um, to the battlefield and you can put more food into that if you want to. <laughs> Reptile things should not be here. Why have they resettled old festering ruins? What are they up to, hmm? Attack soon! Claim this place for clan pestilence! Okay, so seize a temple, we capture a settlement belonging to the following faction, the Southern Sentinels, Lizardmen faction in this region. We get a thousand to our treasury and plus eight warpstone, which is our ritual resource to get our various rituals going. Obviously we have the food um, level up here, so you can see if it goes, if you're starving, then growth penalties, leadership penalties, income from raiding penalties, public order penalties, income from sacking and looting settlement penalties, and income from post-battle loot penalties. Um, obviously, all of that increasing as you go up the scale, uh, giving you some extra public order at the end there. So, Lord Skrulk with his Plague Monk Sensor Bearers. Um, so, we can't actually see an army in place. We did see in the pan over, there's a settlement down here. Um, it's a Baton, 
and the Sentinel of Time will complete this province. I know they've got a settlement down there, so I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll go down that way, we can scout it out, but then we'd leave um, Oxal open. I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of these guys. I know some people are already leaving me pronunciation guides and what have you, so feel free to chip in with that if you would like to. Always much appreciated. So we can upgrade our clan pit to the clan barracks. Give us a little bit of... Um, it already gives us income. Most Skaven buildings give income. Because um, they don't have like a dedicated um, income building as such as far as I remember from their kind of uh, their main settlements. Unless there's like a bonus resource one. I mean we can see this one but they all give like 80 or 60 or 40. So it's not a huge amount but obviously if you build all of those up um, throughout your various regions it should go pretty nicely. But obviously sacking and raiding are probably going to be pretty key. Um, to what we can do. So if we go for this, we can get Night Runners, which are Missile Infantry and Night, uh, night Runners Slings. We could go for the Exotic Animal Tamer, which will give us plus one Untainted. Uh, exotic Animal Resource Cages Production and Income of 80. Or we can go for the Corrupted Spawning Pool, which um, is our landmark building here. So we should definitely go for that because it gives us 300 gold straight away. Food, 5. Growth, plus 13. Income from all buildings, all regions in this province, plus 75. And provides a garrison of Plague Monk Sensor Bearers. So yeah, we're definitely going to go for that. I think we're going to upgrade the clan barracks as well. And we could move in here, but I'm pretty sure they've got an army that way. They've also got a force that way. We're going to get hit from both directions if we're not careful. Um, that's all within that settlement. I wonder, will it tell us on the diplomacy... They have three settlements, so yeah, they've got two over there and one down here. I'm kind of thinking if we went south and just claimed this region, then we could push back up. We've got these cliffs here to sort of protect us a little bit. Um, obviously, you don't want to lose our capital. We should check the garrison. I mean, the garrison's all right. And again, we need numbers and masses to uh, be able to do pretty well. Uh, Skaven have a loyalty system for their lords, like Dark Elves. So you do want higher um, loyalty for your lords. Otherwise, they will rebel and cause trouble. Um, let's take a look at diplomacy, actually. Just see Vampire Coast is friendly with us. Non-aggression. I'm going to go for military access just yet. I'm actually going to just demand some money from them. Clan Spittle, another Skaven clan. Which are just to our north. Okay, so we might want to try and confederate with them rather than killing them at some point. Okay, they, they're not interested. We'll wait until they get friendlier with us. Spine of Sotek Dwarves. So we don't want to go up against them just yet. Probably if I gave them some money, actually. We got 500 gold from the Vampire Coast. So let's, let's offer them that and see if that will be enough. No. Not super eager to go take them out if we don't have to. They're only at war with us for now. So yeah, if we go south, we could treasure hunt first at that ruins. And, uh, and then go from there. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move to here. Because if the lizard men, southern sentinels, move in. Then we can kind of react to that. So what can we recruit? We can get clan rat spears, clan rats, um, skaven slave spears, or skaven slaves. So these are our weakest troops. They're expendable meat shields. These guys are anti-large. And these guys are not expendable, basically. So they're a little bit... There are better units to go for. So what do we have? We've got Plague Monks, which are anti-infantry damage dealers and Frenzy. Uh, Skaven Slave Slingers, and of course we have that Catapult, which is going to be pretty useful, and the Plague Monk Sensor Bearers, so they should be pretty powerful as well. They're armor-piercing. Um, we don't have any Spears um, up against Lizard Menia. They might have a couple that we'll go after. So let's go for just three units of Clan Rat Spears for now. And uh, we've checked Diplomacy Technology. We can't go for anything yet. We need to build a building to trigger, sort of unlock that there. We can go to the right, take a look at what we can get here. So we've got the Scheme of Doom, the Pestilent Scheme, the Thirteenth Scheme, and the Dominating Scheme, all which give us various um, different effects. The first two, Scheme of Doom and Pestilent Scheme, give us a Pestilent Scheme Priest or a Doom Engineer. And there's various bits we need to get before we can unlock those. So yes, um, we'll come to those later. I don't think there's anything else we can have to do. Scaven Corruption is our kind of unique sort of mechanic as such. We can see how how much game corruption there is. It's low at the moment. Um, high untainted. Which obviously, the more game corruption there is, it does decrease our public order, but it does give us more uses of the menace below in our settlement. So it can help just to overrun and overwhelm our enemies. Which is what we're going to have to do using the abilities to sort of um, 
go for those flanking strikes. Especially early game where we don't have too many um, sort of strong units. We're relying on the Skaven Slaves and Clan Rats. Okay, so no appearance of the Lizardmen. Stone found in all the ruins. Reptiles not get there yet, yet. Search ancient places, my brood. Find warp stone, claim it for pestilence. Okay, so yeah, we've got to go and treasure hunt. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got the extra units in there. I'm not being threatened by these guys up here. But we can see they've got an army over here. So we can colonize. And this is actually another um, pretty cool mechanic that Skaven have. If you want to, you can invest more food when you colonize a settlement to instantly start off at tier 3, which can be rather useful, but that does cost a lot of food. Anyway, we're going to treasure hunt this turn. Effigy of Gork, Lord Skrulk. While scouting the outskirts of the ruined city, you notice in the distance an orc shaman prancing around a campfire nearby. You watch and soon see the shaman collapse, his body twitching on the ground. Okay, thanks for that. So we can ignore the shaman, help the shaman, or loot his body. I'm going to loot his body. You warily approach the unconscious shaman and search his body. The search is less than successful, and you may never feel clean again. Okay, so we didn't get anything out of that. Okay. So if we try and do something now, oh, we can't colonize this turn because we've just treasure hunted, so we'll just have to wait there. Also, we have the stalking um, stance, which is our normal stance, which just um, has a chance of ambushing any enemy, any, uh, any, uh, any enemy army this force attacks. So it just increases your chance to sort of uh, ambush. It's a straight up ambush attack stance. There's obviously ambush stance as well. Um, we've got in camp, we've got underway as well. That can help us jump around. So just going to wait for that to build up. We're going to end the turn. And try and take out the Southern Sentinels army here. Well, I'm hoping they'll move toward us a bit. They're recruiting up. Because we have to be careful. If we if we settle here, they could move up and attack us next turn. Because that will take quite a few of our soldiers um, if we do that. Got to choose wisely. Our income's obviously looking pretty good. I don't. I wonder if we could actually get away with recruiting another army just yet. Mm, maybe a little bit to help us out. Don't have to go up against them yet because they've got a pretty good garrison there. They do sally out to us. Mm, it's gonna be pretty dangerous if we do settle this now. But if we don't, then we'll be in trouble. We could just leave this and let them build up, and instead go over and try and take this settlement. But they'll probably have another army over there. They don't have, won't have as much of a garrison. This seems to be a pretty tough one. So yeah, let's let's actually let's actually move back because we know they'll probably move up and actually occupy that settlement. So let's move up here. We can recruit more troops. In fact, we can get some slingers. Oh, we've got the, oh, no, not slingers. Sorry, we can get the uh, clam rats with shields. So we'll just go for regular clan rats with shields. Three of them end the turn. I definitely feel like I want to build up my forces more this game before I attack. Because we will get munched. Okay, so they've moved that. They've brought their army up. Okay. They've not taken it. Okay, that's fine. Because if we take them out, then we can just push back south. We've not seen anything from the north for now. But that's fine. But we can actually go in and attack them. They've got skink cohorts, so they're not Insanely strong. Let's go for it. We might get an ambush. Yes! Good. They failed to spot our ambush. Perfect. So they do have feral cold ones, so we'll need to watch out for them. But this is going to... This is perfect. This is definitely going to give us the advantage. Moving away, grabbing the extra units. Menace below. So we can put more food in to increase the number of uses of the menace below if we want to. Uh, we want to keep it... Yeah, we definitely will keep it above 40 for now, because that'll give us um, keep it up there. So yeah, let's just increase it to five times. And then we're gonna go in for this battle. Because then what I'm hoping is that we can pin these guys from all sides and then summon some clan rats um, into the mix. Wreck them a bit. A feral cold one's going to be promoted. Thankfully, it's not too not too many Saurus warriors in there. They're mainly skinks. Uh, we're going to start deployment. Of course, we have Lord Skrulk. Oops, sorry, I need to move over here. What have we got? So, contaminated when he attacks. Magical attacks as well. We've got blessed with filth ability. 
and Pestilent Breath. Breaths are super powerful. And all Skaven units have the Scurry Away ability. Um, so when their leadership starts dropping, they get a speed buff to basically try and run away faster. Yeah, Pestilent Breath. Definitely going to want that with Skrulk to like go in and hit from here. Go for our Slingers. They can all hit them from here, so that's looking good. Plague Monks are my Jewel Sword Infantry. They are anti-infantry damages and frenzy. So we're going to want to hit their enemy as hard as possible with these guys. I think we're going to go in from this side. Sensor Bearers, in fact, I'm going to include you guys. And we're going to go in hard here. This is going to be the main strike from that side. Um, we've got some spears. I'm going to go for two of you over this side and one of you on this side to just run at those feral cold ones. Blade Claw Catapult is going to go and sit here. And in fact, yeah, we'll have you guys all together over there just slamming on in. Okay. Right. Uh, let's take a look at Skrull before we begin, actually. Nice little zoom in. I think with this ambush, we're not going to get insane amounts of chance to uh, sort of zoom in a lot. We'll need to be managing everything that we've got. Just take a look over our army. Some lovely little ratties. I'm glad we got this catapult early on. Take a look at the uh, sensor bearers over here. They've all got their flails. I find that in sync, like having a little sniff. Right. Spells may be overcast to increase their potency, my lord. Yes, they may. I've missed with that breath attack. Oh no, I still hit him. Hit all these guys here. Hammer out spears, in you go. Slingers at the back there. Absolutely wrecking them there. Lovely. Catapult fire in the big group. Get away from that Saurus, because he's going to do a lot of damage to you. Right, Menace below as well. Pop that there. Pestilent Breath. Let's bring you in. Feral Cold Ones have gone into their Rampage. Go get them, lads. My ratty lads. That's what really well, because they're just mainly skinks at this point. That's good. These Plague Monks are suffering a little bit. knock these guys away with a breath. Oh, lovely. So much damage. Uh, let's just try and... Yeah, let's just try and summon them right in the middle of them. Help disrupt their formation a bit. Right, these guys are all coming back over here. the sensor bearers back this way. Spears get in over there. Plague monks get out of there because I don't want to lose you guys. You're really low on leadership so I'm going to just get an attack in there with Skrulk. Victory's in our grasp. Yeah, he's running away. Good. What what orders? How many, how many have we lost? Yeah, okay, we've not lost that many. I'm mainly kind of choosing my Skaven tactics. You know, we've taken a while to engage our enemies just because when I was playing Lizard Men the other day, absolutely wrecked Skaven in my battle, and they massively outnumbered me. Try and kill them because then they'll be well. We'll get this lord down as low as possible. How are we doing over here? They're still actually holding up quite nicely. 
Let's get the catapult firing on them. Master of Masters. What have we got over here? Oh no, their, their leadership's all dropping now. Just regular clan rats. But we got him. Oh, he's, he's run. Just force march. While we hit these guys a bit more. Guessing that affected them as well, actually. <laughs> Less with filth. Got a lot of health. They're not exactly doing much damage to him. That's fine. Kill off as many as possible. Decisive victory for us. We lost 280. They lost half their force. Catbot getting 90 kills. Good. Plague Monks, 117. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Kind of want to push and finish this army off if we can. Oh, no, wait. We ambush them. They sh do they get to escape from that or not? Getting 10 food from that. So we're up to 60. We could get more food if you want to by enslaving them. We'll have bonus leadership. We can sell them off. We've got armor of fortune as well. Nice. Or we can eat captives and replenish by 5%. I'm thinking... Um, I'm going to enslave, actually, because I want as much food as possible. Yeah, that... Oh, no. The whole army does get to go away. Pet wolf rat follow again. Assassinate. Additional 8% chance. Okay. Armor Fortune, Ward Save, Armor, and Physical Resistance, that's rather nice. So yeah, we can't unfortunately move any close to get them. I don't want to take this settlement. Uh, I mean, I could try and move Force March, then I'll be tired. I'm imagining they're going to run away. We're going to go for Root Marcher. They're probably going to pull back. If they do that, then we're safe to claim this settlement here, I would imagine. For now. How long till we can upgrade you? Okay. That worked out really nicely. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna try and go past me with their army. They're gonna actually try to push up. That's foolish rather than retreating. Okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna go take that army out while I can. Get a trade agreement with the Vampire Coast. Okay. A wandering host approaches. Beware of such rogue oh, armies, dear. my lord. They must not be allowed to threaten your realm. If we take them Do out, though... Tolerate their incursions on... That's plus 13 warp zone and 2,000 treasury. They're not instantly at war with us, so... Yeah, wood elves. Go get them, Skrulk. Okay, ambush again. I... I'd like to order resolve, but I don't want to lose the plague monks, and I think we might do that. The order resolve might end up losing my plague monks for me, so. It's been three uses, and let's just jump in for another ambush. We'll do it quickly. Just try and uh, take out the Southern Sentinels army. Glad we got this ambush. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of ambush battles in this campaign if uh, if you haven't already kind of worked that out. But then the Lizardmen do have, I think it's the Astromancy Stance, which gives them um, a better chance of defending against um, ambushes. Oh, God, they're just right in front of us. They're just asking for it. I'm, I'm actually going to send Skrulk in against their Lord this time. We're going to send... Mm, okay. You guys are going to charge in from this side. I'm going to keep you guys safe by the catapult because I do not want to lose that bonus use bonus unit this early on in the campaign. Because that'd be quite a quite a substantial loss. Oh yes. Right, catapult, go after these guys. Yeah, sense bearers. Beautiful. Nice. Hit those Saurus warriors hard. Oh, that's going to be a fine hit. You guys go after them over there. You trap that slinger unit in here. 
Go ratties, go. I love how they got their, like, the triangular shields and all that. If I do that, will it affect my own units as well? It might just get them. I actually know if that triggered or not. Going in against their Saurus warrior. Lord. Yep. Smack him, Skrulk. Oh, yeah. Wind up. <laughs> yeah, kill him if you can. Trying to take him down. I haven't yet broken. These skirmisher units over here. Chase him to the jungle's edge. I've got to admit, I was just taking a look at it then when I was had the UI off. The background work the artists have done for this game is insane, and like the the fog, and they actually have dynamic kind of cloud cover. So you'll see, like, as you're fighting, like, this area here is, is under cloud cover right now, but you can see it shifting across the map because, obviously, the, the light comes back on in. Absolutely love that detail that they've added in. Here we go. Clan rats, that'll make and break. Have we got their lord yet? Yeah, we just got him as he hit fast forward there. Boom. Perfect. So the army will probably get a new lord in to like run away with if they can run away. They may not though. We absolutely wrecked him again. Catpogging loads of kills. The victory, the horned rat shitters. For food. Nice bit of loot. I do seem to find in Warhammer 2 the post battle loot you seem to get seems to be much higher than Warhammer 1 because, like, my treasuries in most of my campaigns are just overflowing. Um, we can get for more food. Yeah, and buff the leadership. Go for it. Army can still run. That's annoying because I want to come back and take that. Oh, nice. Reptile Thing Sacrifice. Weapon strength 10% when fighting against lizard men. Okay, Skrulk. Oh, but then that means we risk the we risk the monks again. We can upgrade Pressilent Breath. So yeah, some of you in my previous Let's Plays that have been doing Lizard Men and High Elves have been saying like, Lionheart, can you take a look at the spells? Because it looks like they've actually got more than just a cooldown. So yeah, most spells now, when they have a second option, it reduces their, their cost a little bit. And um, miscast, base chance, minus 15% for Blessed with Filth upgraded. So it, it reduces their miscast chance when you do the upgrade. Some of them, I think, helps when you try and reduce the cost when it uh, over uh, when you overcast as well. But yeah, so we haven't looked through Skrulk's bits yet. He doesn't have a mount, as far as I can see. We've got Rod of Corruption and Liber Bubonicus as his quest items that he can go and get. Uh, got lots of bits down the bottom. If we go for Corruptive, you lock Dictatorial, which uh, obviously... Corruptive gives more corruption. Dictorial helps prevent corruption to obviously maintain that public order a little bit longer. Um, Looter, I'm not going to go for that. Pack leader for obviously buffs for clan rats and things like that. And that might actually be a rather worthwhile bit uh, line to go through at some point. Because buffing up those early clan rats would be quite useful. So I'm going to go for Pestilent Breath though. Because this, um, as we can see, the upgrade gives additional poison contact effect. Which is rather nice. So we're going to go for that please. So you can see tells Reptile Thing Sacrifice. That's rather nice. He's a Plague Log. Log? Lord. Uh, I really should take him out, though. I shouldn't. I think actually we'll have the reinforcements from the settlement here. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? No, I'm not. We only lost 13. We didn't lose him. Ooh, good. So we're now up to surplus food, which is even more growth, more leadership in own or allied territories and public order. So I'm not going to go for more food. I'm just going to grab some replenishment. We've gained a potion of full hardiness, which is 36% charge bonus and unbreakable. Yeah, eat them, Skrulk. 
Uh, unfortunately, I can't get back to these guys this turn. Um, I'm guessing if I move into the settlement to replenish. I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to recruit some more units as well. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for... Hmm, that. Two spears, one clan rat. Definitely we're going to have enough po enough money to upgrade this, plus we can buff up seven months. The reason we want to get as much food as possible as well is means we can buff up Sentinel of Time to like tier 2 at least when we come and go for it. It's good. So I've dealt with those lizard men. Let's expand though, because we're like turn 5 and we don't have another settlement. Plague Rash, Blessed with Filth, so we've already got that ability, so this will upgrade it. Overcast Spell, Blessed with Filth upgraded, um, which is Miscast Chance goes up to... 50 is 50%. So yeah, if you upgrade it the second time, the miscast chance reduces the upgrade. So it's 50% miscast chance, um, but it has an uh, extended effect duration. So yeah, uh, I've been overcasting in my other Let's Plays a bit too um, casually, I would say, because it's been causing me a lot of miscast and a lot of damage to my own units. Uh, to my own lords. We want to go for Wither, reduces armor. That could be quite useful for tanking down a lord. Or we could spawn, we get Vermintide, which spawns some clan rats, good at defending Spellcaster, help him out. Uh, I mean, they're all good. We're going to go through all this magic tree, I think, for Skrulk first. Um, so that we can, you know, get all of the, the best abilities for him there. And then we'll go into probably buffing some units, maybe even increasing his own battle effectiveness because he does have a flail he's not just a spellcaster but primarily that i would say um we'll go for wither quite useful oh, we've got another skill point we've got two from that okay um let's get vermin tide as well then <laughs> income is fine right now but if those guys come toward us then we're going to be in trouble we kind of want to go and take them out as well i mean we could just push up and get that comes to parley, demanding a change in your mutual their demands um, Consider their offer. I, I'm I'm actually just going to be the dwarves. Um, I'm going to be yeah submissive to the dwarves right now, because I don't want them declaring war on me. World root rangers, yeah, they've not moved in yet. I can imagine they're going to be troublesome. Right, let's move in. Take the sentinel of time. Plenty of money to do so. Okay, so we can do it to tier 2 and we'll still have a, a good amount. We won't go negative with anything. So let's colonize at tier 2. So takes things must not succeed. A plague be upon them. Good, good. So yes, we must maintain control of the whole province now. The next mission, more warp stone to be gained from that. So, this is public order and scaven corruption, but uh, this is a minor settlement. We don't don't think we need to build up that just yet. If we can replenish quickly, we can go and take the southern sentinels. It's not a walled settlement yet, so we need anything for replenishment. But anything that gives replenishment would be good. Um, actually, the weapon burrow would be worth getting in a in a minor settlement because it only goes up to tier three. It's probably these we're going to go for. Yeah, casualty replenishment rate. So let's pop you in the rattling warrens. What do you do? Recruitment cost for local armies. Public order. Our public order is plus five at the moment. It's actually pretty good. Um, and I would prefer to put you in my capital. So I'm going to go for this one as well. That eventually give us yeah recruitment cost reduction. We can, of course, recruit more units, and in fact, it might be worth just merging up a couple of units, like especially the clan rat spears here. Let's merge these guys. They've all gone into one unit, so I'm now gonna instead of just replacing them with more clan rat spears, I'm gonna go for clan rat uh, spears with shields. There's two of them in there. Merge you two and get another clan rat with shield. A local. Oh, these guys will take two turns. We're gonna be here for at least two turns, so we we could definitely afford getting some global recruitment in here. Okay, let's merge up these clam rats as well. Your recruitment facilities are. Yes, yes. 
Um, and then merge you guys and go for one of them. My eyes gone, but I see. So we're going to take two quick end turns, hopefully. Actually, no, we need to put more into recruit, but that's fine. Then our army can be brought back quite nicely. Just hope those guys don't decide to attack us in the meanwhile. No, they're not They're not planning to. Thankfully, the Lizardmen haven't gone up there. Interesting, actually, because when I, I, I dove into this campaign sort of privately when I first got early access, and I got attacked from up there first. So it's interesting to see me, them attacking from down here this time. Nest Nursery. Yes, upgrade that. Right, you guys, uh, you're nearly replenished anyway. Those guys will be up next turn. The Slingers are pretty damaged, but uh, we can't do anything about the Plague Monks. They've just got to replenish up. Same with Sense Bearer. Okay, so then it is Slingers that we're going to replace. Is mine. So let's get rid of you. I oh no, crap. Made a boo-boo. I don't have that building yet, do I? Lionheart. Whoopsie. Definitely need to upgrade that. Okay, so we've only got the one Slinger. <laughs> That's fine. There's still meat shield, so we'll just go for more infantry. Um, to be fair, probably better to have probably a full full unit rather than a weakened one. Um, I think we'll just go for more clam rats. I should go up to 19 with the recruitment there, and then that probably gives us enough to actually go after the garrison force here. There's many skinks and a couple of sorcerers, even though the plague monks are wounded. So we'll move in next turn. And then we'll have a whole province, and we can move north, take out the Worldwood Rangers. Ah, here we go. Okay. So I don't actually know. Just Skaven, this says it's got walls, right? Okay, so we must actually wall Skaven someone. I didn't know that was a, was a thing. They've actually brought their army up here, so in which case we actually need to move up here to defend it rather than move south, otherwise we're going to lose it. So let's get up there. Be able to get into the settlement, we've got the garrison force. So we can defend. It's actually giving more replenishment to my plague monk, so that's fine. And we will go for another spear unit there. You are the plague lord. One more turn, then we can finally upgrade our capital. That's fine. These guys aren't coming for us just yet. So also fine. As I as I said, I swear AI can hear you. AI can hear you in these games. Oh yeah, they haven't attacked me from the north. They did in my previous one. Ah, now they come and attack me. So they're moving south. Oh no. Oh, interest. What are you doing there? You're trying to ambush me, perhaps. I'm not sure that's going to work. Mission issued. Ensure the following have been built. So yeah, upgrade the nest layer. Because we're going to get our garrison, I think, helping us out here. These guys aren't fully healed, but I think we can still do a nice bit of damage. I thought they were going to go down towards my other settlement. Loads of skinks, so that's that's fine. I'm happy to go in and attack these guys. Rather than them run away. We're ambushing as well. Amazing. You silly lizard men. Yeah, we'll take four from the menace below. Let's jump on in. Something I do like about the Skaven is that a lot of your battles... Well, majority of your battles will be large scale. Most of the infantry units are 160. And obviously we're bringing in 1,700 of our garrison to get in on this battle as well. Uh, I'm going to start to point. I'm not going to gamble that much. We've got reinforcements coming in that side. So that's actually fine. I probably will split up my force to hit them from both sides a little bit. Got to support. I've got to support these guys, though. Put them at the front to attack the sort of tougher units up here. I don't know if my catapult can fire from there, so we're going to have to have the catapult firing from here today. Have the missile troops just in range, I think. Okay, and if we go for spears then alongside my plague monks from that side... go that way. Good, good. Allied reinforcement. 
And we can now upgrade this breath, which I'm going to do straight through there. Oh, yes, lots of damage. Bring it all in over here. We'll sort that out in a minute. Fire in there. Menace below. You guys trying to run? I'm going to send you right back into the action. Oh, I should have popped this potion of full hardiness. Actually, probably no point popping it now. Come on, right, what have we got here? Got some slingers selected there, whoopsie. Seemingly, we're doing pretty good. For now. Units do tend to rally a bit more in this, so got to be aware of that. Let's catch you guys out over here with the menace below. Tie up the enemy forces. Um, let's see if we can't hit these guys down here. I'm sending in my reinforcements to get them. Very nice. For my extra plague bearers. Yep, yeah, you come in and attack their lord. You guys chase off. Let's chase this lot. You guys are going in there. We're just trying to catch all these guys here. And these guys in the back there. Plague Monks are still holding. This guy's breaking. Out you run. Menace from below. Chase him away. That's it, scroll key. Good. Well, that's dealt that army a rather stinging defeat. Pretty much. They've still got some units in there. That's it, Plague Claw. Keep going off those guys. A lot of busy fighting over there. All my rats just pouring in through the jungle. these guys over here, isn't it? Run, run, run. Let's just fast forward it a little bit so we might get the odd extra kill here to this army. A decisive victory. They lose 1,102, so they still have a fair force them. So I probably will, again, engage them and fight them in the in wherever they are, uh, wherever else they go. Because I don't want to lose the plague monks. Cause it takes a while to get there. The victory, the horned rat shitters. I but am. Plague lord demands sacrifice. I'm gonna go for eat captives. I need their organs. Kill, kill. Can we get them this turn though? Pet wolf rat. Oh, yeah, we're getting another one of those. Yes, we can. Okay, in we go. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to risk the order result because I've got at some point I've got to work out if this is worthwhile doing. Ah, we lose a plague monk. Okay. 
Well, only one. Only one. As long as we got the catapult, the other two, and the sense of errors. Oh, what? You still get to go away? Why? Why do you get to keep running? Oh, because their lord was killed in battle? Plan Buster leadership when fighting against them. They're near enough to threaten my city. 13th scheme unlocked. Pestilence Clanstone. Diplomatic relations with Skaven. This lasts for 13 turns on turn start. Lords have a chance to gain loyalty. This chance. Okay, I'm going to probably say that. I don't think I want to pop it just yet. I'm guessing this means their settlement over here is going to be weakened. So I could go and get that. But that's not part of... Oh, that's part of this... Oh, that is part of this one. This was settled. Ah, that's part of a different one. Okay, so I do want to go for that settlement, really, then. Okay. Um, we'll go with... upgrade. We'll get with the... Plague Rash. Oh, and less with Filth. Oh, we've unlocked his Liber Bubonicus quest as well. Noise. I'm going to need to go finish you off. So I'll have to move through there. Um, we are going to recruit a, another one of you guys. I'm glad that for now it doesn't seem like those uh, that horde army is coming toward me. But we want to go and take it at some point. Oh, I knew you thought you'd probably come and attack here. You pains at the bottoms. Could have forced March myself to get over there. Are we going to be able to hold it? We could put loads of menace below in. I'm going to try and fight it and see if we can win it. I have a feeling we won't because they've got their lord. But let's see. Is there, they're all pretty weakened. I mean, I'm not at top strengths. Sure. Oh, we've got some night runners, missile infantry. Oh, that's useful then. How good are you guys? Hey, you're right. Decent melee combatant as well, apparently. I'll take out the skink cohort. Yeah, Skinks with Javelins, they've actually only got like enough ammo for three throws of the Javelin. They're not super effective melee units, they then go into... Uh, missile units rather, they then go into melee. Pull back with you guys. I'll take you off this lot. You can fire while you run, I think. Yeah, you just turn around and lobber. useful for bringing these guys in. Okay, while they're chasing, let's pop a big old lump of them on them. Okay, not attack them. No while to get them all here. Of course, yeah, they're mainly all skirmishes, aren't they? Murder, kill, kill. catch them out. Keep them busy. Yes, yes. 
I finally caught those guys. There we go. On top of this lot. Kill them. Generals over here chasing these javelins. Okay, we need to chase this lot off. And we've got a menace from below to pop. Oh, those guys, yeah, they were my mess from below unit. They've summoned and they've gone. Okay. Quickly pop these guys. It'll force them to run in the opposite direction. And we should be able to catch them. There we go. General's fighting this lot up here. Pull the night runners back if you can. So we can just hit this guy at range. Keep the spears, keeping them busy. Coming back. You guys are out of ammo. Too early. These guys are about to go though. Chase them off the edge. We'll make sure they completely go, otherwise they will rally. Oh, seriously? Great. Not gonna help the rest of my troops' morale. They're shattered, right? They shouldn't be coming back. I don't trust that cohort not to uh, come back. Oh, they're over here. I was like, where are you guys? Those two shattered, this one not. Let's keep going. Whether or not we can mob him enough to make his morale completely drop. Or we might find this Soros Warrior can deal with all of us. mob him. Leadership is dropping. We can get enough in there to make him waver and break. He's exhausted. What's the rest of his army has gone. Oh, my warriors are breaking though. No, come on. I need you guys to stay. Yes, come on. It's going. It's dropping. Drop enough to completely go. Come on. Break. Come on, waver, damn it.
Fast forward it. Yes, he broke. Woo. Okay, yeah, so with Menace from, be Menace from Below, we managed to do it. Good to know. I'm trying to kill him, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Most of my troops are breaking. Let's just end it. Heroic victory. I'll take it. Actually, that's an instant buff. If you've got the food, you, I mean, maybe not against a proper full stack, but a depleted force like that behind your lines, you can probably rely on menace from below. Sort of catch those extra units if need be. Uh, I am going to go for sell off, I think. Get a bit of extra money. Still going, though. He's gonna, Okay, he's going to head down there and build up an army. Probably. What I should probably do is build a lord here and go after him. The Liber Bubonicus is an opus of great and terrible power. I see you have hidden it away as bait for unsuspecting man-things. It appears the trap has been sprung. Now it is time to recover your book. Okay. So we need to construct a pox cauldron. Warpstone and treasury. Can't claim that yet. Oh, we can actually go and finish him off. I don't know if it's worth doing that or if it's worth positioning ourselves over to claim the settlement and finish. I think it's probably better to do that. And he can just wander back down here and build up a force. And we'll need to just build up an army ready to defend that. Because if I take him out, they're just going to spawn another lord, surely. So let's just force march. Well, actually, it's underway. Can we replenish an underway? Mm. We're in underway stance right now. We're still replenishing. Okay, move you guys there. To recruit a lord. Confident. We want someone with good... Okay, yeah. That would be pretty good. This Grace here. Four to nine chance. Or Tactician or Warlord. Let's go... Let's go for a... Yeah. Go for a Grace here. He's got four loyalty. This city nest now mine. All hail Hornet Rat. I'll go for Clam Rats. I imagine he's going to run in there if that's the case. All hail will disband, but just to make sure. Check diplomacy as well, actually. Vampire Coast is improving. You guys. Oh, non-aggression pack. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll have Skaven Slaves. Can't trade yet, because, oh yeah, so these guys in between. Which are very big. Very big. Five territories of lizard men. Okay, so they'll be the ones we go after next. Good, good. They're after Clan Spittle. We're improving with the dwarves for now. Come then, messenger. Just. They've got four settlements. Oh, they've moved all the way up there. Okay, so if we push up against them that way, we should get rid of this then as soon as possible. Come, my my. And perform right. Da, 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 da. Cost some money. Diplomatic relations with Skaven. Answer for laws to gain. Hero and action. Enemy hero actions reduces. We don't have any heroes yet. I don't. I think we'll save that for start of the next episode. I just want to claim this settlement, or at least start sieging it. I think, and then we're going to end the episode. Yeah. Okay. They're going to go to their settlement. It's fine. Well, we can keep this army, or we could send it to go after them. We just need to build it up a little bit more. Pestilent scheme performed. Actually, yeah, what do we need to get those? Pestilent knave. We're waiting for that to upgrade. Okay, Skrulk, go get it. Complete your province. Boom. 
Lots of food gained. Um, I think we, we should loot and occupy. In fact, we can pop this all up to tier 3 straight away. So that's what I'm going to do. Gain treasury and warp stone. Treasury and warp stone. Treasury and warp stone because we've got the nest layer now at le level 3. Issue a commandment. What do we have? We have efficient planning for public order and untainted. Construction costs for all buildings and growth. Um, recruitment cost. And uh, we have food. Uh, oh, a tax rate. Oh, wow. Okay, so if you really need some more food. Thankfully, we've got uh, minus 30 colonization. Change this turn. Oh, that's just this turn. Is it going to drop by 30, though? Colonization. That's what it dropped already. So it should sort itself out next turn, I think. Gotta repair this. What is this? It's, oh, it's because it's food. Ah. And then, of course, we can build some things here. Um, more of that. Cash replenishment and growth. Right now, that sounds like a good thing. We could build up our defenses a little bit, because these guys, lizard men, are probably going to come from the north. Might be a good idea. Growth vats gets us rat ogres straight away. Plague Monks, the Pox Cordon. So that's what we need to build, but I want to build that in my capital so that we can obviously upgrade that more than just the initial one, because otherwise we'll have to destroy it soon. We could go for this, though, Weapon Burrow, which gives us Poison Wind Globideers. Has that straight away? Warp. Ooh. Yeah, I want Warp Thrower Globideers. Warp Fire Thrower is a Flamethrower, but these guys are pretty good. Uh, well, we could go for the uh, Missile Troops, which I'm not bothered with. But we should pop that in my capital as well, because it goes up to tier 4 for Den of Secrets. Okay, uh, Weapon Burrow. Yeah, let's pop that in. Uh, slightly negative with our income. So, I guess uh, growth and construction costs would be pretty good. Might be worth then just, in that case, just waiting until next turn for that to trigger and then building all these things. Let's do that. Skrulk. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for, ooh, Heraldry of Decay or Plague Lord. Unlocks hero recruitment. Plague Priest, all provinces. Oh, that's good. And Hero Recruit Rat. Oh, that's hmm. that's Or Lodestone. Appearance. That causes terror. Plague Lord sounds good. That doesn't lock if I do that one, so I can get all of them. We're only going for evasion. Yeah, let's go for Plague Lord, then. Upkeep cost. Ooh, for Plague Monks and Plague Lord catapulting. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to get a Plague Priest, if we would like. Which might be pretty useful. This could be our Tim for the series. Um, I think we should probably disband this army. Rather than keeping it. Because he's going to be recruiting up now anyway. Um, your loyalty is increased. Which is good. Uh, but we'll do that at the start of the next episode. I'm going to end this here. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of my Clan Pestilence. My Skaven Let's Play. With Lord Skrulk. Again, feel free to suggest your name suggestions via the QT. Again, names for Tim the... I guess the Rat Enchanter. The Skaven Enchanter. The... Plague Enchanter, perhaps, via that QT as well. And um, next episode, I'll make sure all of these units in Skrulk's army have custom names from that QT, so get them going. And obviously, if you do want that early hour special at part 5, feel free to leave a like on the video, 2,000 likes on this part. Part 1, 2, 3, and 4 are required for an early hour special at part 5. If not, that's fine. Feel free to dislike if you don't enjoy. And you're not enjoying the content, that's totally fine as well. And you'll still get part 5 either way. It'll just be a 30-minute episode if we don't hit 2,000 likes across those first four parts. But yes, that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode for now. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors. Green Man Gaming, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, ciao for now.